get the next lockpick. So let's see, can I get to 18 cunning? Cunning, yes. Next. Next. So we'll do that. Play. Now can I have her auto level up the rest? Well, let's try it. Uh, yeah, that's Alistair. Liliana. Let's see what happens. Yes, I can. So presumably I can do bits. Liliana. So now if I'm right, she has... Oh, she put some more into... No, that's me. Liliana. Where is Liliana? There she is. Yeah, it looks like she may have... Oh no, 18 plus 2. She probably put the rest in dexterity. And, of course, I did this. And what did she choose? She chose expert training, I think, because I didn't choose this. And I'm fine with this. Once she's peeked that out, then I'll throw pickpocket and try to remember to do pickpocking. Pickpocking? You've noticed I don't do a lot of pickpocketing. But Liliana, chest. Ooh, okay. I think this might be too high level for me. Strength 26. Oh, I don't know. Alistair probably can wear it. It's done. I suppose you probably get do you get benefit for doing this quest later and does the armor scale? Well, who knows? Anyway, scale or no, it's nice to have now. Sophia Dryden's journal. Oh boy. Well, you're in for it. I'm going to read it. Uh, 21 whatever. It is done. The nobles have thrown their lot in with Arland. Arland is a snot-nosed man-child. Arland who did not walk till he was in his fifth year. Arland who had to be pried off his nursemaid's breath not two years ago, or so it is whispered. The turns and the arls believe him to be a simple man and simpleton and easily led, but I have seen something in the boy's eye, and it terrifies me. Later, I watch the summer day processions from a room high in Fort Dracon. The re regent has me for treason, when my only guilt is being uh, true to my country and my heart. My guard's tongue was easily loosened with a gift of a ruby ring, and I am told that the bonds are fighting against my sentence. I shall pray, but not hope that it will be anything but the gallows for me. The draft was like bitter fire, but I survived. Weep for me, for I survived. Would that I had made a clean end for me. I should have died a lady, the greatest of the Drydens, not lived to become this nothing, this monstrous nothing. So I'm not sure if she drank the blood like I did, or if she's talking about some other um, draft that she drank. I'm assuming she became a Grey Warden at this point. Enough, I shall waste no more time with the wretched womanish lamentation. Death would have been easy, but... Fate saw fit to spare me, and I will seize upon this chance. The Grey Wardens, yes, I was right, are an army, and the old commander is weak. A wisp of a man. I will inspire the Wardens, and Arlen will rue the day he spared my life. Rue the day? Who speaks like that? Sorry. Quoting a favorite movie of mine. All right, so how are we doing? We want to head... We've been to the shrine. We've been to the stairs down. We need to go into the inventory and see if Alistair... I wish it let you click here to change this stuff. Come on, guys. Seriously. Uh, Alistair. I think we have some new armor for you, do we not? Nope, not yet. 26 strength. And what do you have for strength? You have... 24. All right, next level. You get some new armor. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be a while, but it won't be forever. And, of course, the door is now free and clear. 
Of course. Uh Okay, everybody hold. Right ahead. Trap right ahead. And now everybody unhold and attack this guy. It's your time to die. <laughs> you cannot win. Let's make this quick. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to hold everybody and I am going to let now we'll we'll do that again. Hold everybody. No mercy. And let the range guys fight these. <sighs> Why are they not holding? Hold I here, shall. guys. Thank you. So, ranged, ranged. You attack that one, and you attack that one. Hurry right away. Let us end this. Ah! Ha ha! Oh, this should be good. Tear them apart. Wipe them out. Cross me, and you shall pay. Watch out! Blast! You forced our hand. Another battle, I see. Brilliant. Okay, so victorious. You can start. Trap right ahead. Start disabling these. This is much like KOTOR, your cohorts will more than happily run right over top of a trap that you've detected, unfortunately. I mean, even if they can't see it, surely the rogue in your party would say, yeah, stay left when you run up there, because, like, leg hole well, trap, all right. dripping with poison, you know, incentive. Done. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, looks like there's nothing else to be had here. As you desire. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, you can combine spells. Cast one and then just cast another immediately after it, I believe, is all that combining involves. And I vaguely remember one where you could Speak. get a, you could get a tornado going by combining like lightning and frost or something like that. I'm not going to try and experiment my way through that. I'll read up on the internet and see if there's any interesting excuse me any interesting ones that uh, I'd like to record for you guys. And actually, we've been going for so long. I am going to do one of those saves as well. More fights. Yep. Everybody over here. Uh, come on. Oh, I see. I'm in the way. There we I go. This. Okay, so everybody unhold and everybody unhold and everybody do this guy. Oh, forgetting my keystrokes again. Too easy! <laughs> 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 So my fighting style I find when there's no particular risk, I mean, there's, I was having trouble remembering my keystrokes there, but when there's no particular risk and no obvious extra strong dude, having everybody fight one at a time, like all on one, seems to go better than sort of separating and micromanaging. And it, of course it depends on the particular battle. And another book. And this is where we get to get into being a blood mage a bit too. 
The taint allows us to sense the dark spawn. The longer we survive with the taint in our blood, the more potent it becomes. Unfortunately, this corruption will eventually overwhelm the warden. Over time, it devours both mind and body. Oh, that's reassuring, leaving nothing. But what if the spread of the corruption could be stopped or contained in some way? What if the warden could become more powerful without having to the power kill him? How great would that power be? Would it be enough to stop the demons? The joining ritual is crude. We take it on into ourselves, the blood of the dark spawn, in the most obvious way. Most die from the corruption immediately. It is, after all, poison. There must be some way to refine the joining, isolate the true power that is found in the dark spawn blood, and leave behind the evil that kills us. I can feel the corruption starting to take its toll on my body. I must not succumb. There is too much work to be done. Through my magic, I've been able to sh slow its inevitable spread, but not stop it completely. I am starting to hear things. Even while awake, a voice, more beautiful than any other, that calls to me from the depths. In my dreams, I see the black city, and I am drawn towards it. There is something there, an answer to what this taint is, this taint that we share with the dark spawn. And that's from Avernus. So, this concoction, for good or bad, I mean, this isn't uh, KOTOR, so we get a choice to drink this, and it gives us yet another set of skills that we can apply our, our skill points to. An old vial contains a noxious potion. No one can say how long it has sat on this table. Drink, yes! Chugga chugga. Mmm. Tastes like strawberries. Pain racks your body, but you have a hint of understanding and you have access to new abilities. So now if we go into, if I recall, one of these, here we are, we now have Power of Blood, and what did it give us in this case? And I think as you progress through the game, you may even get access to these, I'm not sure. These, uh, these new skills, I tend to never use, but I suppose it's nice to have more options, particularly at the harder levels of this game. The Dark Pack Passage, let's see, Passive. Oh, it's passive, so I, I gain it all the time. Okay, I'm not going to complain about that. It's not even something I need to activate. I'm sold. Tapping the power of Tainted Blood makes the rogue more nimble and able to move more quickly using stealth and more likely to dodge physical attacks. Sold! And this one is sustained. The rogue's blood gushes forth, and yes, so it does self-injure you, coating the, the edges of the weapons with a deadly taint. The character gain, gains a bonus to damage, determined by the cunning attribute, but suffers continuously depleting health in return. So basically a an unlimited poison, well, limited by how long you survive while using it. So I will drag this onto my, my bar, but I'm going to, yeah, I'll throw it on the end of poisons, it really is a poison. And actually, I think I'll drag and leave one space there, so I don't accidentally click it. But its usefulness, eh, not so much. Let's see how quickly I die and from so it. So I shall. So you can see me bleeding, and there you can see my health ticking away. And because I'm out of battle, I'm healing as fast as I'm dying. But that wouldn't be the same thing. Once I'm in battle, of course, I don't heal. So, I don't know how much additional damage that causes, but I get, and it's it's kind of a, a, you know, do you ever use it? Because it's great for a last resort, but last resorts are usually when you have very little health left. I suppose it might turn the tide at the right opportune moment. This appears to be an old research of the mage. Oh, this appears to be old research of the mage Avernus. They detail a series of experiments in Turs clinical handwriting. Day 32. The subject is not responding to the stimuli. Testing the pain threshold has uncovered nothing. Only three subjects are left. Day 82. If only I could reproduce last night's extraordinary success. Electricity is only a catalyst. The blood is the key. Day 97. 
energy and blood. Repeated applications have duplicated the results. I conjecture that success can be induced